clear, clearly there is some work that needs to be done before we're in position to make uh, another bid, either for summer games or winter games. And uh, you know, I, I think we've talked about that previously. Um, we, we, we need to make some pro- we need to fix some things in our relationship with the IOC and their membership, and uh, we're hard at work doing that. We hope that we can make some significant progress in a, in a relatively short period of time, uh, and, uh, and we'll decide at some point in time when, when we think we're ready for the next bit. When it was announced in the room, there was an audible sound made by the whole group. There was a great surprise that uh, the, uh, that Chicago was was uh, left out the first round. Every, let me say that it's commonly known that the U.S. can host the games and do a good job at them. So there was nothing wrong with the bid. It was about, in my opinion, this is just my opinion now, the situation of having a, a c- competitor that had a compelling reason for hosting the games. Chicago did an extraordinary job with their bid. Never forget that. At the meantime, the IOC members who really are participating in a notion that we can help the world through the games felt that it would be better to go to a part of the world where the games had never been hosted. And that's, to me, the true story of what happened. Um, will they allow us to host the games again? Of course. They come to the United States all, all the time. They're International Federation events. There's a lot of sport happening. Their athletes from the world come and train in our facilities. So it's timing is an issue sometimes, and making the best case, and who your com- competition is is also an issue sometimes. But I am absolutely confident that the U.S. is a place that can host the games again and again.